we go into the Darwell people, and then we'll move to the Australian National Anthem as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Be outstanding. The National Anthem, Sam Morris. Here's the national anthem, the teams are on the field. We are ready for the first great Thank grand you, final of 2020. The Oakdale workers running left to right on your radio for the opening 40 minutes. The filmy rooster. Madden with the opening run of the grand final, driven back in a good tackle 18 metres out from his own line. They're running left to right as we said. We're underway in the decider. In fact, that's Madden with the second run. I think that might have been the other front rower in uh, Young Kaskiri taking it forward on the first. Now the Roosters putting it down. Third tackle. Last year they got the flying start. This year it's the nightmare. The scrum feed 20 metres out. Five to the left of the uprights, southern end of the ground. Oakdale with the opening opportunity. Around the grounds for the men's shed, uh, for the beer shed, mate. Um, Warriors 26, Manly 18, with 28 minutes of the second half left. Okay, thanks for that, Craig. We'll keep you across the NRL during the afternoon. Both at Gosford and then at Cogra this afternoon. Saints and Melbourne, the late game. But here it's no score. We've had a minute in the first quarter of the grand final. Alec Bush. Gives it off, Jacob Mayer. He's a likely proposition, Jacob Mayer. He's seven metres down from the line. Alec Bush, the crowd starting to find their voice. Goes himself, Alec Bush. Will he get the opening try of the grand final? No, he's held up. Held up over the line. Back he goes to the 10 metre line. A great start from the Oakdale workers in the grand final. They've come out firing. Bush to play at 10 metres out. Matt Jones, dummy half. Through the hands, Brackenhofer. Found a runner on the outside. They're only eight metres from the line. The Roosters having to defend early on. The, the Red and Blacks on the charge. Brackenhofer within two metres. Could have snuck through on the last. Held onto the ball. He'll play it now on the eastern side of the field. Luke Ruland. Punching kick across field. Will it set up? No, it won't. It beats everybody. Touching goal back to the 20. We come. Filmy gets seven tackles. We've had two minutes. No score for Forte Financial. It was a good set. A good opening set by the um, workers. Now the Roosters taking it to the 30 metre line, centre field, southern end of the ground. Out of dummy half they go. There's Polru taking it forward. He'll play it 10 short of halfway, centre field. Perfect afternoon for rugby league, a little on the cool side. Dane Koskiri takes another six or seven metres. They're just short of the halfway line. They'll play it now to the right hand side. Damon New found a runner on his outside. That was the second rower there in the form of uh, Jacob Loco winding up that big frame of his. Three inside Oakdale Territory. Poru for another run, just held on to it. Did he? No. No, he's dropped it. A bad start for the Roosters this afternoon. They still haven't completed a set. Three minutes gone. No score on the board. You can hear the crowd. A healthy crowd here is pretty well close to capacity as allowed, given the, the circumstances of 2020. About 4,000 people here at Campbelltown Stadium. A very cool afternoon. I just poked my head outside between matches. Yeah, I was down on the sideline um, handing out the Man of the Match Award for um, division or for reserve or second grade, whatever you'd like to call it these days. And uh, I've come back up to put my jacket on. Most of the people down there are starting to say it's getting a bit chilly. Yes, Bailey Macbeth. Here's the ball. He'll play it three metres inside. Filmy territory. 
Looks like Matty Jones going for a run. Got driven back in strong defence from the Roosters. Ruland to the outside for Jason Thompson, the skipper of the workers. Can he lead them to glory 10 years from their past success? There's Jacob Mayer, hit and spin, trying to ride the tackle. Pulled down 26 metres out. Push out of dummy half to the left, to the right-hand side. Ruland pops it over the top. McLean waits for the tackle, makes it now. Good work there from the winger on his opposite in Alan Shipley. Now the Roosters, can they complete a set? Justin Smith plays it 12 metres out from his own line, gets the penalty. Gets the penalty the first of the day for the visitors. Yeah, they've said holding there's a, down. Yep, said it's a um, not getting off to play the ball quick enough. Kick finds touch about 35 metres out from the Thirlmere line. They're running left to right in the opening 40 minutes. That's a good carry and great defence there. Dane Craig driven back. Ten short of halfway. Three of them there to stop him, including Ruland McLean and also Josh Burke. Horu can't get through the line this time. He'll play at nine short of halfway. 22 in from touch. Western side of the ground. They turn it back on the inside for Dane Kaskiri. He can't force his way through these three to stop him there, including Jones and Macbeth. Big Bailey Macbeth. Plays, plays in the defensive line. Phil me four metres inside. Oakdale territory. Dane Craig out of dummy half. Makes only a couple this time. That's the last. They've completed the set, the Roosters, at long last. It's taken them five and a quarter minutes, but they've done it. The kick downfield, taken easily at the back by Jake Steadman for the Rooster, for the workers. Gives it to the excitement machine in Levi McLean. He gets dragged towards the Western Touch line, held in by a metre. Yeah, I'm surprised that um, he was able to play today. He was struggling big time last weekend in the semi-final, wasn't well, he? Well, I was assured he'd be certain to start this afternoon. and uh, it, was a, it was a strong carry. There was a very strong carry. Had a bit of a hip flexor injury during the week, but he's come up OK this afternoon. Never in doubt, according to the coaching staff. Brackenhofer to the left-hand side. May has been busy early. Finds his other front row partner there in the form of Kyle Fraser. Fraser, 42 metres out from the line. Back to Brackenhofer. Switch ball inside Mayer again. He's had more touches than you know what to do with. No, I think Kyle Fraser's on the bench, mate. The number 10 okay. sitting, oh, yes. sitting on the bench. I think he's, got right more, he's got more strapping on him than a racehorse. <laughs> yeah, he does, big Kyle Fraser. As we see the Roosters now, 17, 18 metres out from their own line, southern end of the ground. We've had six and a half minutes, first quarter, no score on the board. Mullaney nearly through the line, pulled down on the 30 centre field. Angle Tati almost broke the line. Couldn't get out the other side. Burmy threatening early, but neither side able to make any clean inroads so far. There's Horu taking it to halfway centre field. Matt Jones over the top, the workman, the workman like tackle, and that's injured Horu as well. Is that a theme for the afternoon? There's uh, Kai Madden taking it inside the 40. Keep an eye on Poru. He's in a lot of trouble. Yep, Craig. Keep an eye on him. Now the kick from uh, Damon New. Puts it high. Easy take for Stedman inside his own 10. Nothing fancy from either side in the opening seven minutes. He looks very strong under the high ball, doesn't he, Jake Stedman? We've got time off here. 12.45 and they've stopped it at 12.44 remaining. Poru down receiving attention. Broadcast brought to you by F2 Sportswear, the Beer Shed, Holly Lee Road, Lemire. Also, Forte Financial Services and Ausskilled. We thank them for their support throughout 2020 here on MacArthur Sports Radio. Well, there's the breaking play, mate, for around the grounds for the um, Beer Shed. The Warriors, 30. Manly, 18. We're still with 23 minutes of the second half remaining. OK, we'll keep on top of that. And then the Dragons and Storm from four at Cogra. This looks rather serious for Poru. This is not a good start for the, uh, well, the number 13. So it's more of a game of the, um, the Illawarra Cutters versus the, the Melbourne second 13, the way that the, all the changes have been made. Yes. It does seem to be that way, doesn't it? It's watching here. Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't look good for Paul Rue, but no. I think the, the trainers are sort of having a chat to him, saying, mate, do you want to come off? I don't think he wants to. No, he's... Um, Ryan run it out. He's, he's yep, very he's, ginger, though. He's 
Not as not as ginger as Jesse Jackson, but um, <laughs> yeah. hey, we love the Reverend. Can I just put that out there? We is, love the Reverend. He is ginger. He is um, struggling a little bit. The workers coming out of their own end. Levi McLean steps inside. Shipley takes a cover tackle from Davis Bohema. Over the top was also the centre there in the form of uh, Justin Smith to stop him. Just inside his own 30 now. Thompson working upfield. Justin Smith had a big grand final last year for Thelmy, didn't he? He had an excellent grand final. Macbeth, will he be a big man this afternoon? The rangy second rower plays it just short of halfway. We've had nearly eight minutes, first quarter, no score. Brackenhofer turns it inside for Mayer. And Macbeth is getting up and looking a bit gingerly as well. The rangy back rower takes it. No, he runs a decoy for Ruland, who kicks high downfield again. There's a Thilmere player down in back play, but he's all right. He was knocked over. Referee says all good. As we see the uh, Roosters now in possession. 12 metres out, 10 in on the western side of the ground. Of the Roosters got here in attack. No score on the board after eight minutes in the grand final. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. The only place to hear it live and exclusive is MacArthur Sports Radio. I'm Mike Sheen. He's Craig Davis. Great to have you this afternoon. And now we've got another stoppage. This time it's uh, John Ryan. Is he trying to say that there was a crusher tackle? Because he's holding the back of his neck. Yes, I did notice that. Bit slow to his feet, the, the winger. And a couple of stoppages early on. 11.23 remaining first term. It's in the hands of the trainer. I think he'll be all right. And what can the Roosters do here? Is he going to be okay? I think he is. A quick uh, head check. He's uh, looking all right according to the trainers. Been given the all clear. They're back underway. Still no score on the board for Forte Financial. We see the Roosters through Dane Craig to halfway and over by two or three metres. Plays it on the last. Out of dummy half, they kick. Mullaney over the top. It'll plug and it will find the line. 11 metres out. Eastern side of the ground. A good set of six. I've just noticed, um, Mike, that Poiru has come off the field. He has Third, come off. The third end's come off. He's um, in the hands of the trainers down there. They're getting some strapping tape out for him. And it looks like the replacement will be... Uh, Adam Campbell. Adam Campbell going on in the 14 jersey. He, w he had a big game last year on the uh, corresponding day. And he certainly did. Now the workers, 10 metres out from their own line, 20 in from touch on the eastern side. Daniel Perry laying down the law for the forwards. Push for McLean. A long ponytail flowing in the breeze this afternoon. And it is a cool afternoon here at Campbelltown Stadium. The sun's out, though. The sun's still out. But um, yes. when it drops behind a cloud, it certainly gets chilly. Yes. Well, I stepped out a little bit earlier, and the breeze coming through was uh, quite cool. As we see, uh, that's the centre in Ben Powers, driven back on the 30. Only a few metres in from touch on the eastern side of the ground. Ball out the back is a good one. Second phase ball, they keep it alive. Now Mayer ends up with it. Trying to find a way through this Thilme defence. Found a magic ball away to Stedman. Stedman has no support. Chip and chase. Takes on Mullaney. Damon New. They won't get the bounce. They keep it alive. Ruland to within two metres. Great work there from the number six. He'll play it two metres out from the line. Here's the chance for the workers. Brackenhofer. Puts it across field. Levi McLean, do your best, son. No, he can't get there. Finds the touch line. It'll be a scrum 10 in, 20 out. Oakdale with the attacking, running early. No score, nine and a quarter to the break. Forte Financial scoreboard. That was a good break up the centre. But the chip over the top, I thought as the ball was coming back, one of the Thilmere players was pushing the back so he didn't have a chance to get in the ball. But obviously, referee Perry didn't see it that way. Craig Davis, thanks to Oz Skilled for Grand Final Day 2020. Almost capacity crowd of 4,000 here at the stadium. Bringing you the Grand Final on MacArthur Sports Radio. We see the scrum fed and won by Thilmere. Looks like Dane Craig out the back of the scrum. 15 metres out from his own line. And he's lost it in the tackle. He's lost it in the tackle according to Daniel Perry. 
This is an unthelmian like start to the game. Isn't it? They're, they're under a lot of pressure. The workers are putting a lot of pressure on them. Big Kyle Fraser about to come on for the workers. On the bench, pacing the touchline. Anxious to get on. Have a little bit longer to wait. Scrum 15 metres out. Five to the right of the upright, southern end of the ground. Luke Ruland feeds it and wins it. Bush gives it off to Powers. Powers can't get through the line this time. And he'll play it now. 10 metres out. Now Matty Jones up the middle, straight up the guts. Matty Jones under the right chicken wing. He'll play it two metres out from the line. They go left-hand side. Brackenhofer, hit and spin, wrapped up in a good tackle. Dane Kaskiri over the top. It had to be made by the veteran, and he, ma he made sure of it. Back to the right-hand side. Ruland, 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 dumped in a heavy tackle. Seven metres out. Had to be tackle four. Bush goes himself. Alec Bush. No, not this time. I thought the ball came loose. Perry says, no, it's OK. Last tackle, three metres out. Matt Jones in a dummy half. Fires it long and left. Steadman pinballs back the kick. They want six more. Brackenhofer still the last. Dies with it five metres out. Didn't realise it was last tackle. Good work, Philme. No it, score on the board. Seven minutes left first quarter. Although it did look like the Philme player put his foot out and played at the ball. And the Oakdale boys are blowing up thinking that there should have been um, six again. Well, I've got to say, I think they've got half an argument there. So I see uh, Matty, uh, Scotty Jones warming up with Kyle Fraser down on the touchline for Oakdale. Both of them getting loose. The Roosters, 30 metres, 20 metres out from their own line. Now up to the 30 and over by three or four. They'll play it just to the right of centre field. No score in the grand final. Six and a half left first term. On the inside there was a nice run. I think they've made an early interchange. Uh, oh, that, that was Harrison Kaskiri playing it in the 15. Now, Damon New gets hit late, fractionally late. Referee Perry says it was okay. Esposito trying to find his way to Puerto Rico, but he gets pulled down 42 metres out, 10 metres in. Esposito. Now, Powers, five short of halfway. Here's the uh, 18 in uh, White House for the workers. They've had all the running, haven't they, the workers? All the territory in possession in their favour. Brackenhofer. Dane Craig over the top says no with Jacob Loco. Yeah, wow, Thelmy, that was a big hit. Thelmy's had to do a lot of defence. Fraser trying to fight his way through the line. Can't do so. Macbeth comes off with the number 10 going on. Ruland puts it over the top once again. Mullaney watches this one into the in goal. He'll have to play at it. He won't get through this time. It'll be a line drop out under the posts at the southern end. Five and a half to the break, it's still nil-nil. Yeah, that was a well-weighted kick there by Luke Ruland. It held up well. Mullaney had no chance to bring it back in. All he could do was uh, take it. He was looking for it to go over the dead ball line, but that last bounce just bounced up back towards him. Just sat up the wrong way for him. As we see the 18 for Thilmere about to come on. For the Roosters. No score in the grand final so far this afternoon. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on MacArthur Sports Radio. It's a monster dropout. Goes 60. Stedman says to Mayer, do your best, son. He makes nearly 20. Pulled down 43 out centre field. Dane Kaskiri over the top, making the tackle. They go to the right-hand side. Fr Fraser. Nearly got it out the back. Now they work through Thompson. It's a forward pass. Forward pass ruling from Daniel Perry. So, fill me, get a break. And they need it. 4.20 to quarter time, no score in the grand final. This is exactly what we expected. This has to be concerning for the Oakdale side. The amount of possession they've had and the time spent in the fill me 20 metre line and haven't put any points on the board yet. They'd have to be starting to get a bit frustrated. You see, I look at it the other way. I think they'd be happy with that because they really haven't had many opportunities on the line. They've had a lot of time inside the quarter but haven't had any real shots on the line. So I think they'd be content with what they've done so far. Now if we've got a one-on-one -on -one strip here, referee says no. Two number threes coming together in Smith and Powers. Actually Stedman. 
That was, it was Stedman, was it? Was it was the number one, yeah. The three for Thelmy me is over the other side of the field. Okay, I thought I, th I, thought I no, saw it. No, it was actually there. it was actually Stedman in there having a bit of a wrestle with him. The Roosters now 25 metres out. Craig out of dummy half, goes for a scoot, takes another dozen. He'll play it 13 metres out. Still tackles in hand. New little grubber kick into the end goal. Damon New gets the opening try of the grand final. Now Oakdale will be concerned. Thelmere leads it 4-0 for Forte Financial. Three minutes to quarter time. They were just going through the hands and there was nothing on there. Then all of a sudden Damon you saw that um, the workers that came up quickly off their line so he just put a little kick behind the line and he was able to chase it through and get his own kick it's a great dumb a great little piece of um, individual brilliance the, the comments come from craig davis thanks to oz skilled the forte financial scoreboard reading fill me for oakdale nil one of their first opportunities inside the attacking end of the ground and around the grounds for the beer shed the Warriors have just scored a, a converted try. They now lead Manly 36 points to 18 with 13 to go. Wow. So a big result coming up at Gosford. The Warriors were down 12-0 early and um, they've come back. 36 points to 6. They've been the... Um, everybody keeps saying the Gold Coast has been a surprise packet, but um, the Warriors, with half their players missing, borrowing players from other clubs, they've had a great, um, oh, great end of the season. Excellent. They've been excellent. Two minutes remaining first quarter here, 4-0 the score. Dane Craig to try and make it six. The Oakdale supporters trying to put him off. Tiki's on its way, flags are raised. He's one from one at 6-0. Thilmir in the grand final. 90 seconds coming up to half time. Quarter time. Quarter time, in fact. We keep forgetting there's four quarters and not two halves anymore. Old habits do die hard, Craig, as you know. Oh, 100%, mate, 100%. So nearly 20 minutes down in the grand final. And one try on the board for the home side in Thilmy through Damon New. We get back underway, Stedman. Mid-range kick on the right-hand side. Not the best pass. That was a, a 4B special. The film here, they're 20 out from their own line, eastern side of the ground. Shadows starting to creep across the ground here. A beautiful Sunday afternoon in the MacArthur for Grand Final Day. Here on MSR, great to have your company. I'm Mike Sheen, that's Craig Davis, as we bring you the 2020 Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final from Campbelltown Stadium. And a pretty full crowd of about 4,000 here today to bring you all the colour and excitement as we see Jake Maloney upfield got the ball from Dane Craig gives it to Damon New who will get a double in the space of two minutes the Roosters lead it by 10 approaching quarter time Front. The hood has just gone, did he? Yes, it did go off. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I heard it. Not long after he scored, the siren sounded for quarter time. Dane Craig to make it a dozen in the grand final. From directly in front, he does. It's 12 nil in the grand final. That's quarter time. We'll be back in two minutes for the second quarter. Back here at Campbelltown Stadium, underway for the second quarter. We had a little bit of a, a comedy of errors there to start the second term. Yeah. Craig? The um, workers put in a short kick. 
and um, it's been ruled to be a knock-on by the Thelmere side. I think it was a double knock-on there, but uh, Thelmere were deemed to be make the first mistake, so now it's a scrum 40 metres out from the try line. So now the Roosters on the defensive. Can Oakdale strike back after points? I saw Russell Lewis very animated at quarter time in the huddle. Jake Mullaney certainly, certainly not uh, shy in retiring in his comments at the break. Grant Mayer goes to the left-hand side, found Brackenhofer, who had a runner there in Whitehouse. Whitehouse plays at 11 metres out from the line. Comes back to the right-hand side, Brackenhofer. Decoys to Fraser, found Mayer once again. He's had a million touches in the first quarter. Plays at five metres out. Bush to the left for Brackenhofer. Long ball out wide for Powers. Powers towards the line. No, won't get through. Two metres out. They go back to the right-hand side. Not the best pass. Little grubber kick into the area near the try line. Jake Mullaney. Crunch. Red like tomorrow's front page by the Oakdale defence. They've been broken twice. It's 12 nil Phil me two in two minutes to Damon New. As we see the Roosters leading it by a dozen in the grand final. Let's see what they can produce here. The, the Maroon and Gold side from the Wallandilly looking to go back to back. Ball's on the deck. Referee says play on. They've got numbers on the left hand side. Again it's on the deck. It'll be play on again. Alan Shipley with it. Driven back inside his own 10. Called to play it quickly. Only about six metres out from his own line. They go to the left-hand side now. Oakdale towards the western touch line. They've gone into touch. Referee's going to say penalty for the second effort. And just a few words exchanged. The boys come. Now, that was unnecessary there from, uh, I think that was uh, John Ryan. And it spills out onto the touch line. The, the whole thing was unnecessary. Um, Josh Burke made the tackle. There was no need to throw the winger over the sideline. Well, I'm, I'm going to stick up. I'm going to stick up for him and say I thought it was a tough penalty. No, he was. Already, I thought it was referee, a harsh call. No, the referee called held. I mean, he's gone on with it and rolled him over the sideline. That was the penalty was fine. But the afters, film is film is blown up. Oakdale's blown up. There's and then, punches thrown. Uh, sorry, I, I might have hung the wrong bloke there. I think it was one of the Oakdale wingers who threw the ball. At yeah, so Josh Burke threw the guy over the sideline. And then balls were thrown. The winger, um, McLean, was in there throwing punches. Or whether he was throwing punches, he was in there pushing and shoving. But he was involved in a bit of um, heavy stuff. Now the referee Daniel Perry with his touch judges that did spill out onto the sideline. All the uh, well, mate, we did say there was no love loss between the two sides. This um, the closeness of the, the games that they played. Yes. As we see, uh, I could, technically, you could see a couple of players going to the bin. Oh, quite easily, depending on what comes out of it. Because you know, if the referee wants to show that he's taking control of the match. We could easily put, be down to put, 12 or 11 on each put, side. Yeah, put, one, put one in the bin at least from each team. Could just to say, listen, I'm in control. My game, my rules. You play silly crap like this, you're going to take, you're going to suffer the consequences. Now, yeah, first up, Phil Mew being called out. Jack Mullaney going over as captain. The Oakdale supporters voicing their displeasure of what they believe they saw. The Oakdale ball boy is telling the referee to give him 10, which he has. Which he does. Trying to pick out, I think that's Ireland Davis Pahima. No, it's uh, John Ryan. Yeah, he was the, he was the winger that was thrown into touch. I, no, actually, I thought I saw him throw the ball. No, no, but he was he was the one that was tackled into touch and then gets up and throws the ball. So Burke rolled him over and put him into touch, and then he gets up and throws the ball. Now yeah, Jason Thompson protesting to Daniel Perry. It looks like that's going to fall on deaf ears as per. Normal, you very rarely see the, the penalty change. The referee changes his mind. It's going to be a penalty to Thulmere out of all of that. Penalty to Thulmere, yet they get a play in the Simbi and Oakdale don't. Quite unusual. That is strange. But as you said, we were right. The the winger who got Simbi did get up and throw the ball after he was thrown into the I thought touch. I saw the Oakdale player do it, and then I thought, no, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it was no, the Oakdale. Because what I... had happened was the winger got tackled. 
Josh Burke then rolled him over and threw him over the sideline. Jacob Loco up the middle the penalty, to halfway. The penalty was then blown to filming, but the winger gets up, throws the ball at the Oakdale player, and then it all, bro- it all, it all broke loose. The Oakdale bench absolutely blowing up, and there's been a knock on there from Kai Madden. The Oakdale players are celebrating. Filmy leads it by a dozen. The Oakdale, the Filmy bench were blowing up deluxe, claiming there might have been a high tackle. Now the touch judge on the near side is coming in. Is he going to have a chat? I don't think he is. No, he's just had a word in the ear of Daniel Perry. I think we're going to play the knock on. It'll be an Oakdale scrum feed. Now we've got time off. 13.51 remaining in the first half. It's certainly come to life, the grand final. A bit of a mild start, but she's come to life in the second term. While we're waiting for the scrum to pack for the beer shed at Lumia. The Warriors 40, Manly 24, with four and a half minutes to go. Wow, 40-24, the Warriors sending Todd Payton out on a high ahead of the 2021 move to Townsville. And Townsville winning on Friday night, or Thursday night, would make him even happier. So that's yes, he'd be delighted. His, what new, his new team won in their last game, and his old team wins in their, last, in their game. last game. Great to have you along on MacArthur Sports Radio. Grand Final Day 2020. I'm Mike Sheen. That's Craig Davis for Ausskilled. Hope you're enjoying the coverage this afternoon as we get back underway. You haven't missed anything. Brackenhofer takes on the line. There's only 12 in maroon and gold at the moment. As we see what they can offer. Bush, Mayer, straight up the middle there. Back slammed into the turf. Two and three there to greet him. Including Vincent Lulawai. Now the other 18, that's Whitehouse. Takes it forward. Plays it 42 metres from the line. Centre field, penalty. Penalty, not rolling away. Penalty count 2-1 on our sheet in favour of the Roosters. They have it 40 metres out. Make it half that, make it 20 out. What can they produce here? Let's see what they've got. Ruland gives it off to Fraser. Inside the 20, 17 metres out from the line. Just in line with the right hand upright southern end. They go to the left for Matty Jones. The workhorse gets to within 10 metres of the line. Southern end. Centre field. Bush goes to the right. Ruland. Ruland. Ruland for the line. Got there. Yes, he got it down. He got it down. Daniel Perry says he did. They're on the board at last, the workers. 12 points to four. They trail with a kick to come. scoreline. Ruland slots it through. He's one from one. It's 12-6 in the grand final. Forte financial scoreboard. Filmy 12, Oakdale 6, Craig Davis for Ausskilled. So they've got to put points on the board while Thelmy have that extra player, while they while they have that extra player advantage over the Thelmy Roosters. Got about another six minutes, if my maths is right, about another six minutes with a man advantage. Can they capitalise on it? Bush from the restart, McLean's second run, the winger. He's known to put his hand up and do some extra work as an extra forward. Now Matt Jones finds Mayer. 
It's a pity we don't have uh, possession stats for each of the players in Group 6 because he's had a, a mountain of work in the first 30-odd minutes. Ball out the back. Bush pops it, gets it back on the... Uh, on the bounce, brought to ground, three metres short of halfway. Yeah, I'd like to know how many runs they make and how many metres they actually oh. gain. Because Mayer would be up with, you know. He's, he's had a million runs this afternoon for just as many and metres. And he's just had another one then. And it was a very strong one too. Brackenhofer on the last. Little jab kick over the top. Will it sit up for the winger Esposito? He got there, but it was too late. Beat him over the touchline and out. So the scrum feed, in fact, it'll be a turnover on the last. 10 metres in from touch, about 17 metres out from the Oakdale, from the Thirlmere line on the eastern side of the ground as Scott Jones goes on in jersey 15. Yeah, they're giving Alex Bush Alec a break. Alex Bush, a well-earned breather after half an hour. And Matty Jones would uh, probably move into the lock, into the dummy half roll and Scott into the lock position. So the Roosters now, game settles down a bit. Lou Lawai on the 30, just to the right of centre field, southern end. They come back to the open side left, Loco, Loco takes three to drag him to ground. Only made about half a dozen that time. Plays at 14 short of halfway. Davis Pahima on the left, drives it downfield. Stedman takes it easily. About 12 out from his own line. Wheels around into the wall of Marone and Gold. Does he take them on? No. He can't come out the other side, brought down 23 metres out. Just to the left of centre field. Running to our right for the next 8 minutes 40 here at Campbelltown Stadium. <coughs> Scott Jones out of dummy half, finds Powers. He's been busy in the first half as well. He'll play at 7 metres inside Thirlmere Territory. Back to the right-hand side they'll come. Brackenhofer finds Matt Jones. A little show and go there, didn't fall for it. The Thirlmere defence was up. Scott Jones in a dummy half. Ruland out wide. Burke, Burke steps through one. Can he get the ball away? He can. Ruland, Ruland. No, he'll go to ground 10 metres out over the top. Heavy effort there from Justin Smith. No call comes from the referee. Scott, uh, Scott Jones got a kick away. It goes touching goal. Back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. Thirlmere trails... Thumi leads at 12-6 in the grand final. We've got 7.45 remaining first half. And I would say John Ryan's got about three minutes remaining until he returns to the field. So we have the restart now from the 20-metre line. You would think that Oakdale would try to keep the ball in play rather than letting um, well, they didn't go want, out. They because because with, the, you know, with the player in the sin bin, you want as much game time... You wanted to keep going as much as possible rather than giving um Oh, Thelmy's dropped it from the from the restart. Second tackle, the workers come up with it. Fraser, 30 metres out, pulled down by Lulawai. Burke directing traffic. McLean goes centre field up the middle. Good run from Levi McLean. Makes seven or eight metres. We'll play it 22 metres out. Scott Jones dummy half. Brackenhofer goes to the outside for Fraser. Bent back. Got it out the back. Brackenhofer play on the call. Keeps it alive. Stedman, Stedman, Stedman. Did he get it down? Daniel Perry says no. Denied. No try. Back to the 10. The workers are all blowing up with the poor touchy over there saying, oh, come on, sir, he got the ball down. And Perry's having none of it. He said, no, go back to the 10 metre line and play the ball. Play the ball 10 metres out. Jake Stedman does so. Mayer, yet another carry for the front rower. Brought down seven metres out. Out of dummy half, Scott Jones, Brackenhofer, rule and what? Oh my goodness me, he's been levelled. It was legal, but it was brutal. My goodness me, he didn't see that coming. And the Oakdale workers have blown up Deluxe. They've gone in, whichever player was put the hit on has been dragged backwards by the Oakdale workers and they're, going to tr they're trying to take matters into their own hands. I thought that was a legal hit, Craig. I thought that was a fair hit around the shoulders. I thought so too, but the workers didn't think so. And by the looks of it, referee Perry's telling the film players to get back. I think he's just back. trying to get everybody yeah, to settle he's down. He's telling them to all get back and let's see what happens. Let's just settle it down. Everybody calm down. But my goodness gracious me, that rattled the foundations here at Campbelltown Stadium. And I felt something shake under my feet. 
And Ruland hasn't moved. No, he hasn't. And on the he back of that moved. hit, it's no wonder. He has My not moved. My good grief, that was a hell of a hit. There's concern coming from the, the workers' bench. My goodness, that was one of the biggest hits we've seen at Campbelltown Stadium in many a long day. Ruland. That reminds me of the Simon Dwyer hit on Jared Wahira Hargreaves. Wahira Hargreaves at the football stadium, yeah. yes. That looks that, oh that reminds me of that, yes. of that hit. And it was a legal hit that night as well. It was just well timed, well executed. At first look, and we don't have a replay screen here, unfortunately. At first look, it did look like it was a legal hit. Well, as I said, we don't have replay, so we can't you, check. If it's not, there's going to be a there's going to be a lot of be, trouble. There will be a film player sent off. Yes. If the referee deems that to be an illegal tackle, He'll be Thurmier will, be, will lose the player 100%. Yep, absolutely. We've got six minutes, 13 remaining in the first half. That brought the crowd of 4,000 to their feet here at Campbelltown Stadium. It brought us to our feet as well. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on MacArthur Sports Radio. You're home for rugby league in the MacArthur. My, oh, my. That, I think they felt that back at the beer shed, Craig. They felt the... The kegs rattle and thought, what was that? Mate, that was just... Oh. Oh. As you said, it was brutal. Oh. and I, It was just well... From what we saw anyway. Yeah, but I be, I'm concerned about um, Luke Ruland. He yes, has not, he, he hasn't, he hasn't the poor, moved. The poor guy has not moved. No, but he was absolutely... Absolutely cleaned up by that hit. That was an almighty hit. But a lot of concern being shown for the number six in the red and black. You can hear the crowd voicing their opinions as we wait. Yeah, the workers' players are showing a lot of concern for their um, number six. Yes. Instrumental player, young Luke Ruland, as we said before, moved from Norellan to Oakdale this year. And... Uh, the Group 6 officials just tailing the um, Thelmy winger to start warming up, so he mustn't have too much longer On left my in the count, bin. he's got about two minutes, I yeah. would say, about well, two the, minutes. The Group 6 players, give, uh, the Group six officials told him to get up and start, um, <laughs> start warming up, up, so he's um, going for a jog up and down the sideline. Well, in good news, Luke Ruland is sitting up. I think he'll be having a nice long spell in the change rooms. Oh, listen, with that hit... And I'm, I'm sure his head's hit the ground too. He, he's oh, not. I don't think that was the only thing that hit the I, ground. I can't see young Luke oh, taking any. Me. I can't see young Luke taking any further part in this match today. He's very, very groggy as he makes his way off the field under assistance from the trainers. But boy, oh boy, you couldn't imagine he'll be back this afternoon. No, I can't. I can't see that happening. I can't see that happening, Mike. I'm just looking here. Do you push? Uh, surely you'd send uh, back J um, Alec Bush back on. Well, I think I saw Alex get up. No, he's minutes. still. No, no, no. I saw him. I saw him get up a few minutes ago, yeah. and uh, I think they were planning on bringing him back on until until Luke Ruland actually went down. Yes. So I think they, the plan was for Bush to go back out there, but then when Ruland's gone down injured. Well, it looks like they're going to send uh, Thompson. Thompson going back on, yes. The referee is obviously... He's sent, off! He's sent him off. He's off! Jake Mullaney can't believe it. He's protesting. He got him with the shoulder across the chest, sir. So, fill me. Down to 11 men for another couple of minutes. Well, I think somehow now, the referee, by doing that, I as given Oakdale the grand final. Because I can't see Thelmy winning and, it And I'm just with watching here, Justin Smith has gone over to check on Luke Rule and shake his hand and wish him, wish him well. Justin Smith can't believe it. And because he's been sent off, he's got to leave the field to play. He's got to go back into the change rooms and get changed. He can't stay out there he's with his team. He's off for the afternoon. He has to go. So drama at the stadium this afternoon. 12 points to six the score. Yeah, I think Filmy on the defensive will get back to the play. I think Oakdale's been, just been handed the premiership. 
Well, I, don't I can't see I can't see Thelmy hanging on with 12 men. Like at the moment, they got 11, but for the rest of the game, they're going to be playing with 12. Scott Jones, Brackenhofer. It'll be a monumental effort if they do. Short ball to the outside. They're calling for numbers on the right hand side. Thelmy, they're three meters out from the line. Oakdale on the attack, back He's underway here. Play, Simbin can return to the field. Is it a try to Oakdale? I think it is. The referee's going to check. He's going to stop and say, knock on. Knock on. We've got a Thilmy player down and a scuffle breaking out in the in goal. This game's getting out of hand, Mike. Very quickly. Something, hey. as, simple, something as simple as a guy dropping the ball over the try line yeah, causes no. this ruckus to take place. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It is unnecessary, that is for certain. But there's no cage, it's not UFC. No. There's no cage fighting. It's not WWE wrestling. <laughs> no, it is not. You can see the Thilmy bench up in arms. Bush and Macbeth going for a run on the sideline. And the spectators are blowing up the Lux. So please, if you're not going to the bathroom on the couch, please remain seated. Others by doing your part. Now Daniel Perry trying to maintain some level of control in this grand final. He's got everybody well separated, which he's done well, I will say. Clock still running, 4.25 and counting first half. So Justin Smith sent off for Thulmere. I'll tell you what, Oakdale have to be careful too because... You know, they'll be make a tackle. They start running in from all over the place. They could quite easily get somebody either sent off or sent to the bin if they continue doing stupid stuff. They've, they've got the advantage. They've got a, tw they've got a one-man overlap. All, all they need for the rest of the day, all they need to do is just play football. Don't get involved in any crap. Just play football. If, something, if somebody gets hit, just get up and don't worry about it. Yeah. It's a, mind you, it is a lot easier up here in the commentary oh, box, Craig, mate, as you look, know. 100%. Somebody throws a punch and hits me when I'm on the field. I'm not going to take you're, it. I'm going to hit him back. You're going to turn but, around and react. But the thing is, when you've got, when you've got 13 on 12, you've got the, you're in the advantage. You've got the advantage by having one man over it. Now, now Thelmy's got a play... Oh, sorry, Oakdale's got a play being called out. He could quite yeah. easily go to the bin or get sent off. That's uh, Whitehouse being called out. For Oakdale, Jason Thompson, the referee. Oakdale protesting that he should have been at least sent for 10 minutes. Jake Mullaney can't believe what he's seeing. Now he's coming over and saying, you yeah, know, we had a bloke in the bin. We've got to play a sent off. They're doing all this crap. Why don't you do something to them? He's protesting, but it, as, as per usual, the referee very rarely changes his mind. No, the referee's got cloth ears when it comes to players talking to them. Be a penalty to Thulmere out of all of that for a push. Only the fourth penalty of the afternoon. As we see the Roosters take the kick for touch. Nothing if not dramatic grand final. Two tries to one. Two and a half to the break. It's come to life. Buckle up. 42 minutes remaining. Jacob Loco says, give me the pill. Let me at him, coach. He takes the first run. Now they rip into the line once again. Seven short of halfway. They've come to life, the Roosters. They've woken up, haven't they? They have woken up. There's uh, Harrison Kaskiri in the 15. Adam Campbell in the dummy half. Hailing a taxi on uh, Pembroke Road, more like. We see another run upfield. They're only 40 metres out. Campbell back on the inside. Was that a slight knock on? Yes, it was from Ty Madden. He wasn't expecting it. It hit him on the chest. And it bounced forward only fractionally, but the referee Perry getting that one spot on. And it'll be a scrum feed about 35 metres out from the Oakdale line. And the workers will have the scrum feed. And it looks like Ricky Small going on in jersey 17 for the workers. He's been a journeyman, Ricky Small. He's been at Norellon, he's been at City, he's been back to Oakdale, he's back to Norellon. More stops than the All Stations. Not only is he a good footballer, but he's a really nice bloke too. As we get underway, the scrum fed 38 metres out. Powers to the outside. Finds a way to get five short of halfway, 12 in western side. As we see the, uh, the workers with possession. They've got a one-man advantage. Looks like a late tackle there, Craig. Keep an eye on it. I'll stay with the play. These small 
all players are back holding their feet, so um, it couldn't have been too bad. I thought there might have been a, a ruling from referee Perry. Now Fraser up the middle. You can hear the crowd baying for blood here at Campbelltown Stadium, depending hope, which side of the fence you're on. I hope the referee doesn't go into his shell now and be, and, and be too cautious. Because you know after you know how they after they send somebody to the bin and they send the player off, sometimes they get a little bit nervy and don't want to do anything. But if there's something that goes on there, the referee has to adjudicate. Powers got a little grubber kick into the in goal. Mullaney has it for the Roosters. Six metres out, seven metres out when he plays it. On the first, 24 seconds to half time. They lead by six, the Roosters. In the grand final of 2020, just repeating, Justin Smith sent off in the 31st, in the 34th minute, sorry, 34 minutes in, he's been sent off. He will not return. So the Roosters playing with 12. There's Shipley down the western touchline, plays it 30 metres out. Craig out of dummy half. There's the siren in the background for half time. And everybody comes up calmly. Craig objected to the tackle, but nothing silly out of that. Half time in the grand final. run makes 20 meters on the first good run from him offloads on the next play they make another 12 or 13. now scott jones finds uh, bailey mcbeth by the looks of it back on the field no that it's uh, mayor once again the workers and now we see the workers up to halfway inside the first set after half time that was Ricky Small with the run. Now it's Jason Thompson, the skipper. Plays it 38 metres out from the Filmier line on the last tackle. Great set to start the second half for the workers. Kick downfield. Stedman put it up and taken easily by Esposito. Can't get through. In fact, uh, taken by John Ryan, rather, who had time on the sideline. Ten minutes earlier in the first half. Now Filmier to the outside. Down the western touchline. It's Josh Bryant on the inside. Found his skipper in Mullaney. Now they go crossfield. New run out of real estate. Ran into traffic. And hit a dead end. 20, uh, 17 metres out from the line. Mullaney wants a penalty. Not getting it. To the left hand side. Campbell fires it out. Finds Davis Bohemer who takes the tackle. Grant Mayer over the top. Uh, make, in fact, Jacob Mayer making the tackle over the top along with one of the Joneses. Now Lulawai, Lulawai for the line! No, he's short. Half a metre out. Could smell the chalk under his nose, he was that close. They go to the left-hand side, balls on the deck. Play on the call, six more tackles for Thelmy. They're only two metres out. I thought they were about to reach out and score. No, I think it was around the other way, mate. His feet was over the line. Now it's been knocked on by Thelmy. Play on Oakdale, have it. Man. That was Oakdale a bad, have it. bad pass out of dummy half by um, the Roosters. Put a lot of pressure on their players. The ball went to ground. There was no chance of them picking it up there. They've got to, they've got to be a lot more smarter from dummy half. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on MacArthur Sports Radio. The only place to hear the grand final live is with us, Mike Sheen and Craig Davis this afternoon from Campbelltown Stadium. Now Brackenhofer to the outside. Powers hit and spin. Found his man in Esposito. Upfield he goes. 25, 26 metres out from his own line. Brackenhofer, the back to the middle. Finds Whitehouse, pops it out the back. Good second phase ball here. Fraser, hit and spin. Out the back, Scott Jones. Building nicely. Oakdale to the right-hand side. They've got it out wide. They've got numbers out there over the halfway line. Great run upfield. In the end, it was, uh, I think it was Thompson with the uh, runner. It might have been... Uh, 
the other second rower there, going for a run upfield. Now Oakdale on the attack, 35 out on the last. Burke kicks over the top, not a bad looking kick. Will it be too deep? Yes. Two bounces too far, back to the 20. Seven tackles for the Roosters. Jack Mullaney slowing it down. They're out by six. Delmere looking like they're going to the bench. The Reverend's got an uh, interchange card in his hand. That'll be Jesse Jackson coming on. Jesse 16. The fourth interchange for the Roosters. From the restart, they only make about five or six metres. The final 40 minutes of 2020 is upon us. Will the trophy head to the Burragarang Valley or the Southern Wollandilly? We'll find out this afternoon here on MacArthur Sports Radio. Looks like Lulawai's come off with Jackson coming on. Or is that, uh, that might be John Ryan, in fact. For the workers, for the Roosters, rather. He's five short of halfway, got time off here. The, um, 15. the 15 there the 15, for Philmere. Yeah, 15 for Philmere. Oh, three cracks at it, still got it wrong. Harrison Kaskiri. Yeah, he's come off and Jesse Jackson's gone on to replace him. Jake Mullaney down, receiving attention from the trainer. Seven metres short of halfway. What have you made of the opening four and a quarter minutes, Craig? Second half. Filmy have come out on fire. I wasn't expecting them to be throwing the ball around as much as they did, but um, they've been going all right. Oakdale have been trying to get on the outside of them to take that advantage of the um, the one man overlap. But for round the grounds, for our friends at the beer shed at uh, Lumia, it looks like the Melbourne Storm have gone in. Tries pending on the board. Let's see what the referees have to say. Yes, it's a try. Melbourne four, lead the Dragons nil. Here it's 12 points to six, balls on the deck. Levi McLean puts it down, knock on from the roost from the workers. Roosters come up with possession in attacking territory. They needed that one, the, the Roosters, the visitors this afternoon. 15 metres out, centre field, southern end. 15 to go, third quarter, 12-6 Roosters. Yeah, it's, gets, it's got them in a good attacking position now, that high ball. And they're lotteries, aren't they? They go up in the air and it could, you know, it could go anywhere. Just looking around, it is a cool afternoon, but not a lot of, uh, not a strong breeze of favouring either side here. As we see the Roosters to the outside. Oh, the ankle tap he got there. It's Josh Bryant with the try for the Roosters. Their third of the afternoon. This afternoon, this is toughest assignment so far. 25 metres out, three metres in. That's not coming back. Away to the right hand side. It remains still me 16, Oakdale 6 in the grand final of 2020. That's for Forte Financial. We hear Craig Davis from Skilled. Yeah, the crowd's calling for a, for Thilmy to watch out for a short kickoff, but I don't think. Oakdale need to pull out a short kickoff just yet in the game. There's still plenty of time up their sleeve. They do have that, that's what we keep going on about, but they do have a one-man advantage. And they're only down, they're only down by 10. And there's still, what, 12, 13 minutes of this quarter and another 20 to go. So they've still got 35 minutes of football left. There's they don't have, to, they don't have to, to panic. There's a long, long way to go. This game is far from decided. It's a knock-on in the end goal. Mullaney and one of his uh, players 
not communicating with each other. Kai Madden. I think they were trying, one of them was going to try and put his foot over the dead ball line and catch the ball, but um, they seem to have got in each other's way. Yeah, they got in the road, Mullaney and, and Madden. Ball's been knocked on by the Roosters, so it'll be a line drop out at the northern end. And you don't need that after points once a game. We say, we say every day, and it's obvious, complete the first set after points. Now Brackenhofer takes it 35 out, gives it off to Fraser. Not his strongest run ever, but makes another 10, 12 metres. Plays it 22 out, 20 in. They go to Ricky Small now for the second run. Only 13, 14 metres out from the line. Scott Jones, dummies to the right. Burke, Burke. Takes on the line, nearly out the other side, Josh Ricky Burke. Small had his hit up and now he's, run, he's, he's come, off the, come off the field. Matty Jones back on for the workers. Mayer, yet again, I've said his name countless times today. He's only three or four metres out from the line. Out of dummy half, they work it back on the inside. Fraser up the middle. No, he won't get through this time. Last tackle, two metres out. Jones, Brackenhofer. Little grubber kick through the line. Ball's on the deck. Try Oakdale. Try Oakdale. They're back in it. It's 16 10 with 11 to go. Third quarter. The workers are back in the grand final. Uprights puts it through. We've got a four point grand final, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oakdale trails Thilme 16 12 with 9.40 to go in the third quarter. So the Roosters need to regroup. Yeah, they'll, have to, they'll have to think about what they're doing. Ball control killed them in the first half. And that knock-on from the from scoring and tries killed them in the second. Sorry, in, yeah, the early parts of the second half. Fraser from the restart makes 20, 22 metres. Good run there from the front rower. Now they work it upfield once again. That looks like Powers has played in the back row. Ben Powers now playing as a centre. 35 out from his own line. Jones takes it forward. That's the mat variety. Nine short of halfway when he plays it. Scott at dummy half. Brackenhofer. Mayer once again. Looks for the offload. Couldn't get the arm free. Too short of halfway centre field. Scott Jones. Brackenhofer. To the outside. Finds a, a runner there. Now the workers. That was Thompson. 32 metres out. Maybe a little bit closer. From the Oakdale attacking line. Brackenhofer, a little box kick over the top. Will it sit up? Will it sit up? They nearly pinched it out of the air. Thilmere coming away with it in broken play. That was lucky that Thilmere guy just watched the ball. And the Oakdale workers player was right there on the spot. He could have, that could have quite easily gone to hand. Now Thilmere on the 40. Had another three or four to that. There's the Reverend Jesse Jackson going for a run. Now to the outside, Thilme trying to find a way through. Bryant without his centre partner, Justin Smith, who was sent off on the 34th minute. Ball's out the back, Thilme still have it. Davis Pahima trying to create something. Can't get through the line. Eight metres inside Oakdale territory, they go left-hand side. Through their hands now, they've got numbers out wide. 
But the Thilmy, the Oakdale defence is strong there this afternoon. As we see Damon New, little chip and chase, six more for the number six. Turns it on the inside, Dane Craig will score. Dane Craig has a double. In fact, that's his first for the day. away just when we get back into the game close to them they hit us back with another try they're bringing back on um, Alex Bush and um, Bailey Macbeth Bailey Macbeth are coming back on now conversion attempt is successful from Dane Craig he's got three out of four this afternoon and it's 22 points to 12 for Forte Financial and we've got six minutes remaining in the third quarter Grand final is on the line. It's a 10-point game. Which way is it going to go? Stay with us for the next 45 minutes plus. Mate, I've got no idea how this. <laughs> I've got no idea how this game is going to end up. It's like last year. Yeah. Phil me leading, Picton coming back. Phil me getting away, Picton almost taking it out. And Phil me holding on in the end. This year, far more drama and far less points, but just as exciting and just as. Easy as exhilarating. We need to see now how Thelmy reacts. Oh, great run-up field. That's, that's, that's a good effort. That's uh, Lulawai, I think it is. So two tackles, and they've almost brought it back to the... Well, is it... Oh, half-break. Craig got it to the outside. Found a support there. Just on halfway. I think that might have been Jackson. Mullaney out of dummy half. They shut him down quickly. He was not going anywhere. Yeah, I think he was trying to look at um, offloading to the winger. Now the middle, Loco loses it. In possession, Alec Bush. He, par he palms off the player and then drops the ball as he was doing it. Powers, five short of halfway, ten in western side. Shadows lengthening here at the stadium. Macbeth, up the middle, good run. Crunched by Bryant. Plays it four metres inside. Filmy territory, ten in from touch. No, Esposito. Up the middle. Plays it 14 inside. Filmy territory. Brackenhofer short ball. Mayer couldn't get the arms free. Over the top was Loco, making sure he didn't gain any extra ground. Back to the right hand side. There's Thompson once again, the skipper, 20 metres out. Pushing to dummy half. That's tackle four. Brackenhofer shows it, shows it. Inside ball, Matt Jones keeps it alive. Jake Steadman can't step through the line. That'll be the last. Five metres out, northern end. 3.45 to go. They're down by 12. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Did he get it down? They're going to say, yes, he did. Yes, he did get it down on the line. Oakdale are back in it once again.
moment, one converted try the difference. But you got to, you got to give credit to Thelmy for being still being competitive and and haven't given up, haven't put the cue in the rack. They're still tr they're still throwing everything at the at the workers. Stedman, 18 metres out, on the 10 metre line, in from touch, Western side, to make it a four point game. Is it going to come back? No. Just hung out too far. So it remains 22-16 Oakdale trailing Thormier in the Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final of 2020. I'm Mike Sheen. That's Greg Davis for Ausskilled. The Forte Financial Scoreboard has a six-point margin on it. And for the beer shed at Holly Lee Road, the Mia, Melbourne Storm 12, Dragons 4. Okay, so we'll keep you on top of that while we're on air this afternoon. And I think that there may have been another try scored by the Dragons, because or that could have been the one for four, because Zach, Zach Lomax is uh, lining up a conversion now. Bailey Macbeth takes it up the middle here at the stadium, 25, 26 metres out, centre field, 90 seconds to go, third quarter. Workers down by six. Here's a chance on the outside. Esposito did well, picked it up on his boot, laces on the volley. Lomax, con Lomax converts for the Dragons. Storm 12, Dragon 6. Here, same scoreline. Roosters, uh, Roosters 22, Workers 16. 1 and 5 counting to the half, the three quarter break. The Workers on halfway. Balls come loose. Referee says lost. Yeah, the Worker, I think um, 18, Whitehouse, is it? Yes. Was, trying, is. was trying to offload but just dropped the ball. He's claiming that it was stripped, but Daniel Perry's. Not, not taking any of it. No, sorry. I saw it. He tried to offload and just dropped it. Loose carry. So the scrum on halfway. Inside 40 seconds to go till the three-quarter time break. And this is what Thelmia wants. The scrum feed near the break so that they'll get first possession in the next 20 minutes. Well, that's to see if they can force a, force a mistake in the final 30 seconds. And that's what the workers have been looking for. Filmy with possession, 34 seconds and counting. To the outside, Jesse Jackson. Reverend praying for a way through, but not on this occasion. 46 metres out from the Oakdale line, up the middle, Dane Craig. Good run from him. Makes it to the 40, Campbell. To the right for Madden, back on the field. Takes 10, 11, 12 metres, 28 a, out from the line. That's a very good run from the big front rower. That's a great run from him. Damon New, instrumental this afternoon. Keeps it alive for Bryant on the outside. Gets back slammed in a good tackle one-on-one. -on -one. Good hit over the top. There's three-quarter time. Thulmi with their noses in front in the grand final. At the last change, Roosters 22, Workers 16. The final 20 minutes of 2020 is next. season are underway here at Campbelltown Stadium. You haven't missed too much. Thilmy 22, Oakdale 16. Oakdale have the ball through Levi McLean. 20 metres out. Penalty to the workers early in the count. Only their second of the afternoon. Fifth in total. As we see Brackenhofer on the left. Drive it into the eastern grandstand in the fading sunlight here at Campbelltown Stadium. Finds touch five metres short of halfway. What can they do here? The Red and Blacks. What have they got in their bag of tricks? I think that missing player that we can't find is we've got a player, filmy player down receiving, taking a knock. I think that player we've been missing this afternoon is um, Mitchell Goff. Uh, for the workers. Yeah, I think what had happened there was the um, Oakdale player was getting was tackled and his um, his feet his foot came in contact with um, 
I think it's Jesse Jackson's head. Yes, totally unintentional and well, accidental. Not, ac not according to um, <laughs> not, ac not according to film here. They believe it was, he deliberately kicked yeah. out at his player, but um, you've got to be careful if you're protesting too much about getting kicked in the head. The referee can say, "Well, listen, you go off to the head bin." Yes. So yeah, you've got to be you've got to be careful. But he did he did cop a kick to the head and he went straight down. But to his credit, he got straight back up. He wasn't laying on the ground. There's no, no, uh, he wasn't trying to milk anything. He no. wasn't laying on the ground saying, oh, but uh, he actually got straight up. You know, he so might have yeah, had they, a, they got me, but I'm all, I'll be okay. He might have had a crack at the referee, but he wasn't um, laying on the ground, writhing in pain and pretending that um, no. he was injured. Back underway here, Scott, uh, Matt Jones takes it up the middle from the first tackle after the play resumption. We've got 18.50 left in the grand final, 22.16. Brackenhofer. Play broke down for a moment, takes it himself, pops it out the back. Macbeth pulls the ground, 23 metres out. Just to the left of centre field, Brackenhofer, first receiver, directing traffic. Good short ball to the outside. Hit his man there. That was Whitehouse. Good run there, plays it eight metres out. Are we about to see scores level in the grand final? Long ball over the top with a pass like that. We won't. Jason Thompson. Thompson can't get through the line. Plays it seven metres out. Alec Bush out of dummy half. Won't get through this time. Two and three there to stop him. Only a couple of metres out from the line. Beside the right hand, upright northern end. Turnover on the last. So not a bad result for the workers. I didn't I didn't see how, um, Daniel Perry call that as the last tackle. I, I must, I must have, have missed it. it. But um, I think Phil, I think Oakdale must have missed it too because they probably wouldn't have had a crack from dummy half if they knew that was the last Well, tackle. it's not a bad result to hand over possession two metres out from the opposition oh, line. No, it's definitely a good result for them, but I think they were probably hoping for more on the back of it. There's uh, John Ryan pulled down 28 and 29 metres out centre field. Northern end of the ground. Campbell kicks out of dummy half inside the 30, tried to catch them napping. Ball will sit up for Jake Stedman inside his own 20. Has a free shot, Bryant around the ankles. And that was new over the top, making the tackle 39 metres out. Esposito, a little bit of the ankle breakers, light footwork there from the number five. He gets driven to ground, eight metres short of halfway. And we've got a filmy player down in back play. Could this be the 1969 grand final between the Tigers <laughs> and South over, Sydney yes. all over again? Players are going down injury to stop the momentum of the team with the ball. Yes. Jake Mullaney throwing his head back in disbelief. Not winning the argument with Daniel Perry this afternoon. For love nor money, he cannot buy it. Now, we've got that beer shed man of the match award to hand out. I know it's a tough decision, but who's who's on the list? We've got 17 minutes and nine seconds of regulation. That's a good question. I have no idea. Oh, for the Oakdale workers, we've got Mayer. We'll come back to that in a moment. Oakdale, away downfield. I think it's Mitchell Goff inside the 20. Still going towards the line. He'll get there. The workers are within two in the grand final. been a standout for oh. the Oakdale side and for a big phone rower he has not had a break he's, been on, he's, he's, spell. he's been on the field for the entire game at the moment 65 minutes and counting and for a front row forward to take as many runs as he has and not to have a, had a break that's a monumental effort 
can hear the crowd trying to put off Jake Stedman, trying to level the scores in the grand final. About 23 metres out, 17 on the eastern side. To level the scores in the grand final, he's done it! He's done it well, level in the grand final, there's 15 to go! 22-22! Buckle up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a grandstand finish to 2020. This was always going to happen after the player was sent off, didn't it? You, you, you're wondering how Thelmy were going to hang on. Hang on, they have been, but I think now that Oakdale's got all the running, I think Thelmere is starting to play on tired legs. Let's see what happens. We've got 15 minutes and under to go in the grand final. Bailey Macbeth on the first run from the kickoff. Makes 25, 26 metres. Plays it poorly. Penalty workers. Adam Campbell can't believe it. Ruling goes against his side in the maroon and gold. Yeah, I think the referee was saying then hand on the ball. Well, hands on the ball, not rolling away, whatever you like. Yeah, I think it was six or one half a dozen hours, wasn't it? Could have been any, could have gotten for anything. Tap taken five short of halfway, Ben Powers. Over the halfway line by about four metres. Just to the left of centre field. Plays it now. And a little bit of afters here between Jack, between uh, Powers and Campbell. Keep an eye on that, Craig. I'll follow the play. Which is right beside him. Bush. No, referee's called time. Stedman's come over and pushed um, Adam Campbell over. That was unnecessary. The referee, it, um, they're having a little bit of argy-bargy and then um, they had a head off. The two heads were, you know, like they were going to rub noses like the Kiwis. And then all of a sudden Stedman comes in and just pushes him on his backside. Mullaney and Thompson in each other's face. Neither one backing down. Captain on captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Mullaney is furious. Incredulous. And I, can, I can understand his frustration there. There was, you know, there was nothing in it. The tackle was made. Oakdale reacted to it. Then Adam Campbell, as we know, is a little cheeky little bugger, <laughs> was in the face of the um, Oakdale player. And then all of a sudden, Stedman comes out of nowhere and just pushes him over, which was unnecessary and uncalled for. Let's see what Daniel Perry does. Speaking to Jason Thompson, the Oakdale captain. Clock has stopped 13.51 to go. And he's saying the push. There was a push. I think it's going to be a penalty to film here. It yeah, is. Yeah, he is, because he's saying that there was that push. Which was and that was, one that, I, that was one that I mentioned, that Stedman's come in and pushed um, Adam Campbell over onto his backside. It wasn't uh, overly vigorous by any means. But, oh, uh, no, but it was, it was a case of... It was unnecessary. I think the Russian judge gave him an eight and a half. Oh, it was a good dive. <laughs> Believe me, it was. But still, the fullback didn't need to come over and push him over. No, he didn't. So Bryant takes the tap. Loco. Haven't called his name much this afternoon by his standards. A quiet game. Yeah, did the locomotion. 20 metres out. Lulawai. Lulawai. Can he be the hero? He's been one of their better players, Lulawai. 10 metres out, 9 metres out. We're level at 22, 13 to go. They put it through the hands. Mullaney, they've got numbers. Can they get it down? Did he get it down over the line? Yes, he did. I think he has. It's a try to the Roosters. They're back in front in the grand final. Two on the bench. Although they've got a couple in jackets there, so. I think the ones on the, wearing the jackets are a bit cold. Yeah, I don't think there's anything into that. No, I think they've got. I think they've got their full complement of. Um, I think you're right. Bench, but um, yeah. and they're only missing. 
the centre who got sent well, off. I'm just looking here. Um, I think that might be Campbell down receiving attention. The conversion attempt is successful from Dane Craig. In front of the Oak Filmy supporters. He puts them out by six with 11 and a half to go. The grand final is on, on the line. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. We're in for a thriller. This is an almighty finish. This is where it's all on the line. They say leave nothing behind. Adam Campbell getting some free advice from the Oakdale players on the western side of the ground. The shadows lengthening here at the stadium. Clock has stopped at 11.21 to go. Yeah, Campbell. Campbell's gone off. Um, Rory Pauru. Yeah, it's uh, Pauru back on in 13. I think that's... Uh, yeah, he's come off. He's not a very good way. Ball off the hands of Damon New. Can they keep it in the field of play? No! It goes dead in goal. They get the line drop out. That's a, well. A, that's what happened before with Mullaney and New before. It's the same thing that happened again. He's got his hand to it and he's knocked it backwards. Tell me can't afford to open the door and let Oakdale in. They're handing this to Oakdale saying, come on. Do your have, best. Have the ball now. You score a try. How many times today, how many times all season we've said, <laughs> complete the set after points? Oh, I give up. Honestly, I do. Who can work this out? Thompson from the re... In fact, that's Fraser from the restart. Over the 30. Good run, Kyle Fraser. He's been strong for the workers today, Kyle Fraser. He's been very good. The veteran, Kyle Fraser. Now Whitehouse in the 18. Met by his opposite in Lulawai. Plays at 17 metres out. Matt Jones, give me the ball straight up the middle. He goes eight metres out from the line in front of the left hand upright. Northern end of the ground, ten and a quarter left in the grand final. It's a six-point game. Josh Burke trying to create some magic for the red and blacks. He's awfully close to the line. He can smell the chalk. He's only centimetres out. Bush, Brackenhofer, left-hand side. Powers took it above his head. Got it out the back. Kicked by Oakdale, played on by Thirlby. Six more on the deck. It's going to be a knock on Thirlby. Knock on Thirlby, Oakdale with a scrum feed. 10 metres out, 20 metres in, 9.45 remaining, six points the margin. Strap in, fellas. For the oh. Strap in for the ride of your life. Oh, this is something ridiculous, Craig. I thought last year was epic. This one is matching at 9.31 remaining. I'd have to say this is probably more epic than last oh. year, considering <laughs> that Thelmere has had a play sent off. Oh, this is ridiculous. To steal a phrase, this is crazy good. You can imagine 13 on 13, but 13 on 12. 12. How good is that for 13 on 12? Now we see Goff to the outside. Mitchell Goff, can he be the hero again? Not this time. He's only a couple of metres out from the line. Ball played on the eastern side. Back they come. Bush gives it to Mayer. Mayer trying to step his way through. Ball down eight metres out. Just to the right of the uprights. Back to the left. Fraser up the middle. Tr draws three defenders. Only three metres out. Beside the right hand upright. Bush turns it inside. Matty Jones on the whirling dervish. Does he get it down? No. no he held up over there. Held up, he'll go back to the 10 and play at 8.50 and counting. It worked out well, but I don't think that was the right play. I think Thelmy read that. They knew that Jones was coming back on the inside and they, they knew that they could um, stop him. I think the ball should have got, kept going out and not um, hit, miss the lead runner and pick up the second runner. Yeah, I tend to agree. I didn't think it was intended for Jones. No, I don't think it was. I think it was meant to go out the back, but Jones grabbed it and thought, I've oh, got a chance why here. Why not? I'm a shot. And there's still, there's still tackles up my sleeve, so if I get caught over the line, then it's, I, okay. it's, still, it's still OK. We've still got possession. They have possession now. Back underway, Brackenhofer to the outside. Stedman with a juggle, just takes the tackle. Damon Ewan Bryant swing him to ground, does a little do -si do Eight metres out, ten metres in on the last. Powers, they're up quickly. Brackenhofer through the hands. Burke knocked down by Thulmere. So we'll have another scrum feed, another set of six for the workers to attack, eight and a half to go, 28-22 the score line. Jackson read it well, but unfortunately he couldn't execute the intercept. But if he did, he was away. I, don't, I think they would have struggled to catch him, 8-17. Yeah, 8, he, yeah I, don't, I don't think they would have caught him. Because Oakdale were on the attack, they were coming forward, or they would have had to turn around and chase, and I couldn't have seen them catching him. 
Or if they did catch him, it would have been close to the try line and he would have got about a 50, 60, 70 metre run on him. Scott Jones about to come on for the workers. Brackenhofer from the scrum win turns it inside to Whitehouse. Pulled down nine metres out, centre field, northern end. They go right side, Fraser. Can he pop it out? He can. Jason Thompson stumbling, bumbling his way towards the line. Three metres out. Bush. Back to Mayer. Mayer straight up the middle, trying to, trying to put the footwork on. Couldn't get through four, five metres out. Centre field. Bush goes himself. Alec Bush, he can see the line. It looked like his head was over the line, didn't it, oh, until they pushed him back. He could see the chalk in front of him. He just couldn't get the arm free. Brackenhofer. Brackenhofer. Inside ball. May have wrong option, I think, there. Yeah, I think they should have kept going out to the left. The inside ball was read, very well read. Scott Jones. Brackenhofer. Little dink over the top. Up they fly. Taken in the end goal. And what's he saying here? It's a penalty to... No, he's saying 20 metre tap. Because oh, I was going to say that could have almost been a penalty to Thelmy. I did think the that. the player been tackled while he was tackled in the air. Tackled in the air. I did have the same thought. 7.05 and counting. 28-22, like Thelmy leads it. It definitely looked like he was hit before he landed, before his two feet landed on the ground. I agree. I definitely thought he was taken in the air. I thought they were going to blow that immediately. But no, I thought so too. The advantage is the 20 metre tap. Loco winds up, it is rips in. That was the best thing for for um, Thelmy, the seven seven tackle set, especially when they were under all that pressure by the um, workers. Now on tackle one, 11 short of halfway centre field. Looks like Paul Roos picked up an ankle knock to the outside. And it looks like the Reverend Jesse Jackson fighting, going backwards, losing ground. If you're Thelmy, you probably don't mind. Six and a half to go. Now out of dummy half, Jake Mullaney. Not this time, he won't get through the skipper. Pulled down by Scott Jones. 43 metres out in the fading light here at Campbelltown Stadium. A gorgeous afternoon to decide the grand final. Bryant gets the ball, 29 metres out. Plays it slowly. Esposito. New wasn't impressed. Field goal. Davis Pahima field for goal. one. They're celebrating and he's got the it. southern end. He's got the he's field goal. He's got it. One point to Ireland, Davis Bohema. I'll tell you what, that was a great option. That was a fantastic option. That gives you seven point, that gives you seven point lead. That now puts the pressure on Oakdale. They've got to score twice to win. 29-22 for Forte Financial. 5.45 to go. Do you call the engraver yet? Not yet. There's still plenty of time left for the workers to come back into it. How much uh, are we getting of 29-28 scoreline? I mean, you're looking at the fact that 12 men, then Ovedale lost one of their playmakers in Ruland. So even though they've still got the one-man advantage, that they're going for a short kickoff. What happens here? Paul Rude takes it, dragged to ground by, by Matt Jones, 30 metres out. They did the short kickoff, but it was too long. Yes. The ultimate oxymoron, the short yes. kickoff was too long. Yeah, it should have only just cleared the 10 metre line, but yeah. it, except it went almost back to the 20. Loco up the middle. Eight short of halfway, just to the right of centre field. Five minutes remaining in the grand final. Oakdale trails 29-22. Can the Roosters go back to back? Mullaney doing everything in his powers high to shot. help them. Yes, it was penalty. A high shot and also the marker was offside. The player, Mullaney went past him and the marker grabbed him. I don't know if I'd take the two or not. I don't know if I'd take the two. Because um, if it doesn't go dead... We'd well, be backing Craig to put it dead if he took the shot. But I... Well, yeah, you could take the shot to wind down the clock a little bit more, take up another couple of seconds, another 30, 40 seconds. But... Seven points, nine points. It doesn't really matter, does Won't it? Won't make a big difference either way. No, because the, they're going to have to score two tries to win anyway, um, Oakdale, whether it's nine points or seven. Or seven. They're still going to have to score two tries. One, con one converted try and a second. So two tries, one conversion. Two scores to win. Two, two scores to win. 420, 4.38 remaining. I'd be tempted to kick for touch. You, you've got them on the rack. You've actually... Thelmy's been making a few breaks recently. And you don't really want to give Oakdale too much more of the football. 
Davis Bohema puts it into touch. Time back on 4:35 and down to 4:30 and counting. So I think I think that was a good option to take the take the tap, but we'll soon find out. Horu. You can hear the Roosters chant echoing around Campbelltown Stadium as we approach full time in this epic grand final. We said that last year, but this one's just as good, if not better. Thulmi, 10 metres out from the line. 20 in, eastern side. They go left-hand side of the short side. Trying to hit and spin their way through the line. Not able to do so. Four metres out. They'll play it on an early tackle. They go out of dummy half. No, they won't be getting through this time. Denied. He'll get over, but he'll be forced back to play at about two metres out. And they're winding the clock down here, Thulmi. They're taking their time to get up and play the ball, aren't they? That's the skipper Mullaney. Skipper Mullaney, yeah. All his experience and guile. Davis Bohem, a little grubber kick into the end goal. No, Jacob Loco's knocked it on. All he had to do was force it. The Roosters concede 20 metres and seven tackles. 3.15 to go in the grand final. 29-22, Thulmi. And they take the kick for touch instead of the optional, well, the optional restart. And he's kicked it from in front of the line. So it's a scrum feed to Thulmi, 10 metres out. The referee out. said you stuffed up there, Mr Jones. That was Brackenhofer. Brackenhofer, was it? Sorry. They've all, they've all got the same haircut. <laughs> yes, the it's two, the two Jones boys and Brackenhofer, they've all got the same haircut. They go to the same barber. So it's a scrum feed to Thulmi, 10 metres out. I tell you what, they dodged the bullet there, almost giving them a seven tackle set. You see, they got clever with that. The sort of thing what happened was, Brackenhofer didn't take the tap. He just kicked the ball. He didn't tap it with his foot first. He just dropped it onto his foot for a kick. And Daniel Perry has said, mate, you've got to take the tap first, then kick. And I think that's what's happened. Brackenhofer has just put the kick in without touching it. He's got to release the ball first. Yes, that's, that's the whole point. He didn't release it. He didn't take a tap or touch it on his foot. He just dropped it straight onto his foot for the kick. Fill me 10 metres out. Mullaney. Slowing the play down. Loco, nothing silly from the veteran. He's come to life in the last 15 minutes, hasn't, hasn't he? he? Hasn't he just? Loco, eight metres out. Poru takes on the line. Poru to within two or three metres. Plays it on the right hand upright. Campbell out of dummy. In fact, that's uh, Craig out of dummy half. Campbell on the sideline. Watching on nervously like the rest of the 4,000 here. Madden, Madden has sealed the grand final for Thulmi. Kai Madden from Blues. kick to yes. and he's a, he's a lefty I, he's a I, left foot kicker i wonder we might have to investigate further craig he's taken about 20 meters only about five to the right of the uprights let's see the technique of the big number 11. not a bad strike but away to the right so his record will read none from one 33 22 45 seconds to go in the grand final now you can call the engraver the yes. late lady's taken her position at center stage fill me will be back-to-back -back champions in group six rugby league what a season we almost we almost wrote fill me off but like a champion side you can't write them off they they were down and out they were dead set down and out and they dug deep and it's a credit to Mullaney, a credit to Dave Green for the, the way that the play. It's a credit to the Thormy Club. We get underway, the 
restart. They were offside at the restart. I think that Daniel Perry's going to let that, going to let that slide. Damon New traps it, and he's content to just waste time. Nobody's really pushing him. He takes it over the dead ball line. We'll have a line drop out. In fact, we won't have a line drop out. The final three, two, two one. one. There's the siren. Thulmi goes back to back in 2020. A thrilling grand final. 55 points. The Roosters do it again. And as Phil Collins would say, against all odds. Absolutely brilliant. Let's hand it down on field for the official presentations. Okay, looks like we've just got a short, short delay before. Ladies and gentlemen, just for asking to be mindful of the COVID safety plan that you're going to see. Looks like uh, a few photos and uh, celebrations down on the touchline. Players and officials are allowed on the field during the presentation. So the workers go down 33-22. Uh, 
Dane Craig with a, a young child so in tow. I'd like to thank the referees and the officials for today. Um, Daniel Smith, the member for Wallagilly, is going to make the presentation. So I'd like to welcome Daniel Perry, Tim Wildwell, and Jack McKay as the officials for today. Just acknowledging the officials today, Daniel Perry, uh, Tim Warwell and Jack Mackay doing an excellent job in uh, what is always a precious situation on grand final day. Thanks very much, fellas. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the player of the year for the Group 6 Country Rugby League, unfortunately Mitch Braxton couldn't be here today, but he has a representative to collect their trophy. So, uh, being dug in, apparently was, but they're not. Just a couple of words, mate, before you duck away. Commiserations, mate. Tough game out there. I'm sure you've got a few words you'd like to say to your guys, your supporters, and the other guys on the team as well. Congratulations, Dave. Great work. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Premiership Captain for 2020, Jake Mullane. Great game, Jake. I'm pre pretty sure you'd be proud of the fellas out there today, and I'm sure you've got a few words you'd like to say to the work of the boys. Be 
Congratulations to the Dolly Roosters Premiers!